Okay, everyone. So today we'll use NURB modeling techniques to create this basis, and uh, we'll start with a curve, and uh, we'll use revolve function, and we'll also talk about how to reverse a face of a model. All right, so let's get started. So first, I would like to uh, maybe start with uh, this model since uh, the shape is a little bit easier. So let's see how we can create this model in one minute. All right. So. Remember, in the previous classes, we always start with the polygon primitives, right, for modeling. So today, we're going to go to the different primitive, NURB primitives. So if you want to know the difference between these two and these three, you can go back to uh, the first lesson of this whole series, uh, where I explain the differences. All right, so we'll start with a, uh, a curve tool. So you can either use a CV or EP. So let's start with the CV curve tool and let's switch it to four different view. And then we would like to jump to front view. And then here, I would like to draw the outline of this vase. Okay, a very simple curve. Um, so let's start from here. And just to create a few points, and once you reach your fourth point, you're going to connect the points together. All right, here we go. So very simple um, curve. So basically, I just draw the outline of it. Wait, here and and maybe I need to tighten the bottom a little bit. All right. So once you've done, hit return key. Here you go. So we get a a curve, and then the next thing will be. So let me jump back to perspective view. After you select this curve, and we'll go under surface, and uh, we'll generate a NURB object based on it. So we'll apply revolve, and let's go to its setting box. And we want this curve to rotate 360 degree along the y-axis, so we can revolve a um, a vase. It's just like the process how you create a ceramic. You put the clay. On the machine and as the machine spinning, and you just hold on one side and you can shape that ceramic. All right. So here we will like to rotate based on y-axis and 360 degree and segments. You can do more if you want more detail. So I think us eight would be a fair number. And surface degree I would like to do cubic, and output geometry in NURB. All right. So once you've done, just click on revolve. Here we go. So basically, how it works is rotate the curve you created uh, in 360 degree. So here is it. But uh, the surface is in black, and the inner side is uh, receives the lights. So basically, how this happens is right now the inner face is outside. The front face is actually um, displayed inside. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to reverse the faces. So with that selected, and since it's a NURB model, so what we'll do is we'll go to surface, and on the bottom here's the reverse direction. So apply that. Okay. So now the positive face is outside, and you can see that uh, it display in the correct view. Um, so the next thing is see if I bring our linear in. So since the curve is still there, and if we let me see, if I move this base a little bit away from it. And then with this curve selected, if I go to Control Vertex, and see with changes on the curve, I'm still able to add the shape of the base I created. Right? So how cool is that? So I can make it to any shape I want. And it's very interactive as you change the shape of the curve and the, uh, the base changes the shape. Uh, once you are satisfied with the results, uh, you'll have to Select the vase itself and make sure you go to modify and freeze its transformation and go to edit and denate its history. So once you denate its history and then if you go back to the curve, you can't do anything, you know, with that. Alright, so this is the vase. Um but since it is a NURB object, as I explained in the very beginning of the series, as a NURB object is only readable in Maya, and if you want to use the model in game engine like uh, Unity, um, and it won't work. 
All right, so we need to change it to a polygon primitive. So we'll go to the modify menu and go to convert, and we'll do a convert from NURBS to polygon. And let's open it option box. First, let's reset the tool, go to edit and reset. And this is by default, so we want parts instead of triangles, okay, for each individual face. Uh, the models for all the games, um, it uses triangles as a face, um, but now uh, parts is more popular. And we also want to do general, so if you do general, basically you type your number of U and V, so that is the subdivision uh, ver vertical and horizontal. Alright. Um, or you can do count. So you put a number here. Uh, let's say if I put 500. So basically, um, when I apply, the model has 500 vert vertices. Okay, this is count. And if you want more detail, just put more numbers here. So here we need to switch to the parts. And here we'll just use the general 24 on subdivision U and 24 on subdivision V and apply. Here we go. So this is the result. So as you can see, uh, the bottom is still open, so let's select it. Go to Modify, Center, Pivot, and go to Edit, and Denate its history. All right, so now what we can do is we can go to Edge Mode and select this whole Edge Loop, and go to Tool Menu, uh, Mesh, Fill Hole, by selecting this whole face and go to extrude and change the offset All right and uh, you can repeat that uh, extrude tool by hit gk g will repeat the last command you have applied so hold, hit gk and extrude gk again so this time i want it to be really close so i can press r key as a skill tool scale it down so pull them together and then I can go to vertex mode and grab and select all vertexes on the bottom make sure you're not selecting any vertex on the side so you can hold on control deselect to grab the side faces make sure there's no faces or vertex selected on the side all right so with these vertex selected press F key to zoom in so you can see them close hold on shift right click and merge vertex merge vertices all right so now they have been merged to one so we have um, sealed the bottom okay so here we go so now if you switch to the face selection mode select all faces go to edit mesh extrude and give it a thickness uh, maybe 0.3 would be good okay and then so now it has a thickness and then we can hold on shift and use your mouse right key and we'll insert edge loop on the top here and for the inner side we we'll like to do close to the top as well so the reason why I want to do that is when you press 3k see those edges will knock the shape okay if you don't have that see on the bottom it be smooth out right so if I add the edge loop here on the side one on the bottom and press 3k smooth and you'll see the differences right so when, once you have done hit QK Q as quit to quit the tool and go back to object mode here is it see so press one key this is normal display mode if you press 3K, this is a smooth view, you'll see the difference. Alright, so this is how you will create this vase uh, very fast. And the same procedure to create other vases. So in the demo folder you download, you will see that I've uh, attached uh, three reference images. Alright, so what I've done before is, basically I provide all these uh, three images to my students. And students can choose any group of models to start work with and I give them a, uh, a task and model all the bases in the group in about like 10 minutes. All right, so it's a kind of a speed modeling with a nerve tool. All right, so hope you like this video.